Good day everybody and welcome to today's video where I'm going to be talking about Bitcoin and I'm going to zoom out a little bit and I want to discuss a little bit more in depth about what is going on on the charts right now. Uh, we are obviously ranging and I want to dive a little bit more in depth into as to why we are ranging and what is actually happening while we are trading within a range. So um, to put that in perspective, um, uh, you have to zoom out a little bit on the chart. So what you see here in front of you is a daily chart. Um, the nature of the market is basically that you go up and down, up and down, up and down. However, in between these moves, price needs to take a little breather where people are going to decide or traders are going to decide what's going to be next in store for the for for what's going to happen to the price if it goes up then simply everybody agrees that price you know must search for higher value to be considered as fair value where once that has happened it will range once again and the whole decision making process is going to start again so that's a little bit of an of an introduction i hope that you thoroughly enjoyed this video by the way and if you like our content then you know please leave us a like and subscribe and follow us on social media so you can stay up to date with with more uh urgent price action things that are happening and that we're sharing around uh on on the internet for free if you feel like you want to study a little bit more and you really want to learn how technical analysis works and how all the tools and for example on trading view work then um i would say chart champions is, is a good place to start off with having that said decision making is entirely up to you this is not financial advice and in this video, I just want to uh, emphasize a little bit more on the on the educational side of uh, of what I'm seeing currently in the charts. Um, going back to the to the basically what you're talking about, the fluctuations in price up and down, which is what you can call uh, a trend and a sideways market consolidation range. So. If you, if you would consider that, uh, you know, basically back in March in 2020, this is where we put in the low on the entire chart uh, for a very long time to come into the future. From there on out, we have risen more than 300% on the chart, after which at some point price started to move up, uh, still move up, but more slowly and more slowly, which, is, which was at that time already a signal that the market is coming to a more of an equilibrium. Then uh, this is basically where the decision making process started because this, this is the place where, where you start to decide, uh, should, we, should we go more up or should we maybe correct uh, a little bit, for example. Ultimately, the, the correction has maybe for some people not been a little bit, for example, but their uh, correction happened on a, once once everybody agreed on a certain decision price broke down out of the range and we had a steady decline in price which caught many 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 people by surprise uh, at that time uh, within our group we recognized uh, early on that there was weakness in the chart very early on and you know we we most traders within the group took measurements, not necessarily ag aggressively shorting, for example, but hedging could be an option or protecting your capital in the first place uh, for good reason, because the result of uh, as we were moving out of the range, we literally had a steady decline of nearly 50 percent. And that's not even calculated from the top. If you do calculate this from the top, the, 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 the decline in price was 54 percent in total, which is obviously really a lot. So naturally, after such a big move has happened, there's two things going on, actually, and it all has to do with mentality and psychology if you would have shorted this whole uh, decline in price then naturally you would be ending up with large profits um, that is the first thing that happens so so people make money people lose money on this decline people who were not protected people who not did not take stop losses people who are not educated well enough 
uh, to know what was really going on. And naturally, they lost lots of money and switched, uh, basically switched their wealth over to the people who do know what they're doing. And in turn, those people were able to make profits out of the situation that was occurring within the market. Now, that is the first thing that's happening. The second thing that's happening is after such a big movement in price, naturally, as wealth is being exchanged, a lot of people are, are, are going into, into, into doubt. And uh, I would say you have two types of people uh, after such a large price action. You have the people who are really happy, who are sitting in massive profits. And of course, this happened really quick. So naturally, you would say uh, one would say to himself or herself, uh, if I can make so much money in such a short period of time, then why not do this every day? And this is this is where the flaw in the thinking process is occurring, because that is not how the market works. After such a big move, you have the other uh, part of the people, which is usually the larger part of the, the majority part of the of the group. And those people <clears throat> are hurt by the market. They, um, they, they, they got scared. They want to be outside of the market. They want to now wait and see what's going to happen next before they make their next decision. So that is when you enter into a stage of, of indecision. Uh, nobody really knows. People are fearful. Uh, people are getting really bearish. People are fearful. People are hesitating to enter into new positions. And that is the moment where you start to form a range, which is literally what is what we have been doing for over the last so month or, or longer even. And um, this is where I, where we get into the into the core of uh, what I really want to talk about uh, today. I'm I'm going to try to not make this into an ultra long video, but I do think a little bit of context was needed uh, in order to follow through on this subject. So um, basically the last month we have been in more or less in sideways price action, which, which made up for um, moves that, that were for, for some people really difficult to predict. And again, Two things are happening here right now. So first of all, you're basically having a contracting price action where you're not really breaking the most recent highs, but you're also not really breaking the most recent lows, giving you ultimately a, uh, a sideways uh, way of price action where, where the trading activity is, is starting to get a lot lower and uh, the, the, the really good trades that you can get out of the chart are less um, obvious, so to speak. Um, it depends if you, you know, it depends, by the way, of, of your skill, of how you're able to read the charts, obviously, because there are opportunities. But the problem is that if you had such a big decline and you made massive profits, or if even if you lost profits, it's highly likely that you're going to consider um, or you're going to be frustrated, you're going to be angry, you want to make that money back or you want to make more money. So what usually happens in these kind of ranges as price is actually contracting, giving no real clear uh, direction of where price might go next. Uh, this is the moment where most traders that were actually profitable on these uh, bigger movements in price are literally losing every all the profits that they've made. They're losing that within this range because it is highly likely that those traders are anticipating on the next big move, uh, whether that is to the upside or to the downside, only for, for price to, to do literally nothing it does not break out to the to the upside of, of 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 this contracting price action or it does not even break to the downside on the contrary it's it's literally contracting it makes it makes smaller and smaller and smaller ranges as you can see here on the chart sometimes it tests a little bit of the top but here locally you can see that we we did not even come close at this high and then ultimately as you can see here we did not even make a low then we had a little bit of a deviation more or less a little bit of a fake out and only for price then to fake out once again to the upside and then continuing back into the range only to do the same 
And this is the thing. There is a lot of trading activity taking place in the middle of the range where it's literally, I would say, that is really not the most probable place to trade. And ultimately what happens is you, you do fake out once again and then you create yet another range within a range where again you're you're starting to show uh, contracting price action right so you are basically having this little bit of a fake out and then instead of bouncing for example all the way back up to the top of the range you're showing again one more time contracting price action and I'm specifically talking about the region that we are in right now because you could now class this as the top of the local range and this as the as the bottom of the range and then here you are not at the top of the range and then here once again you're not even reaching the low of the range so ultimately you have very contracting price action and that brings me to the piece of price action that we had yesterday because yesterday was actually a really really volatile day and i think this exemplifies exactly what um what i mentioned earlier the two things people uh, traders are getting way too excited and in addition to that let's be honest nothing really big has been happening on bitcoin for the last month so there is yet a third factor coming into play people are getting frustrated people are getting bored they're starting to wonder why bitcoin is not moving and because they cannot bring up the patience of waiting to see what's going to happen next as they are afraid maybe to miss the move as it maybe can come out of nowhere and it does it can come out of nowhere but if nothing has happened yet then what's the point of literally speculating into what bitcoin is going to do next while you're literally seeing no signs of a clear direction in the market and this is this is really where the most money is being lost uh, and this emphasize, I would like to emphasize on this specifically because this is exactly, exactly what has happened yesterday. Because what happened here is um, now I'm going to go on a little bit of a lower time frame. So this is basically referring to the range that we are trading in right now. We have put in a high. We've got a bit of a reaction, uh, a big one actually. And then we have put in a low over the weekend, after which we've bounced back up again now the interesting thing at that point this was this was an important key level this was a daily level if you uh if you have watched uh the, the the videos this this was also a level that we gave in the champion stream that we do every sunday where we cover um where we do cover um uh the chart and make a plan for the for the next week on how we uh, look to trade it and 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 basically for education purposes uh, but as you can see we have hit this particular level um almost to the dollar exactly and then we fell down through it below uh basically back to the previous range where we now have been continuing to range <clears throat> and the thing is as that was happening this is really where the real volatility happened uh, yesterday because we had a really quick drop in price we had uh, ultimately we have hit the middle of a channel that i've got going on here um literally uh, to the dollar exactly so let me draw that out for you really quickly so you know what i am talking about i am of course talking about um, this particular range where if you zoom out into a lower term time frame, you can see that we hit the exact middle of the channel to the dollar exactly, after which we had a little bit of a bounce. Then we swing failure that, uh, that particular low, and we had a really, really big massive rise in price. That was very quickly, very quick, uh, once again into a specific uh, key level or even above it, and then only for uh, to be met with a extremely quick decline in price again. And uh, I wish I would show I could show you a little bit more in detail, but unfortunately, the software that that I'm using uh, today is under maintenance. So for this video, uh, I'm unable to show you exactly in detail what has happened. But that will be covered in a future video when a situation like this uh, will occur again, because it will. Um, that is a given. Um, 
but basically this is where the emotions are running so extremely high where where people get way too excited where they're thinking like oh my god bitcoin is going to break out of the range to the upside yes uh, we're going to go at least at 50,000 right now. Everybody is longing massively onto the charts only to be met with a stern reaction where people are thinking, people that are thinking the opposite, oh, we're going to break down, we're going to, we're going to $20,000, for example. This is where they all enter into short only to be met with no real results on the lower term time frames. Of course, these were very, very, very profitable trades if you know what you're doing if you know how to do technical analysis if you know uh, how to how to read the charts correctly uh, within the group we've traded this very 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 well we have traded this uh, this swing failure pattern of the long into into literally almost the exact high and then we have traded it all the way back down and then um, basically that those were the two trades that were that were really great yesterday and um, based off of our knowledge of, of doing technical analysis and reading the market context correctly, uh, we were aware that, that you don't trade this to, to outside of the range, for example, because we are aware of what, what the context of the market is. However, this obviously has literally uh, kicked out so many people out of the, mar out of the market only to ultimately do literally nothing and continue to range on sideways um and i think this is this is one of the most perfect recent examples in the charts that i can come up with and that is also the reason why i wanted to spend a little bit of time today in this video to 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 go a little bit more in depth into it and i would say the takeaway of all of this is be aware of, of, of what is the market context and know when to trade aggressively and know when not to trade aggressively. If you're trading in the middle of a decision making process where nobody really has the answers, for example, uh, then why would you put, for example, so much money on the line and why would you form such a strong bias for yourself? Why would you claim in the middle of a range that Bitcoin might be going to 100K? Or while you're in the middle of a range, why would you claim that, that Bitcoin is ultra bearish and we're gonna go down to $20,000? Well, in, where in fact, we have literally been doing nothing significant over the last month on the larger term time frames and i'm of course not talking again i'm not talking about day trading or scalp trading there are enough trades to be had if you know how to read the charts correctly and if you know how to anticipate on the on the context and then of course you can make some profitable trades but on the bigger on the bigger scheme of things um there is absolutely no real clear direction in the market at the moment so i would say the takeaway of this is when when price is ranging or when you, when you're able to read that when uh, you know first of all you obviously need to learn uh, uh how to read that you know how do you know if price is going sideways or uh, how price is going uh is, when price is in a trend clearly currently price is not making higher highs or lower lows so that results in contracting price action thus the conclusion must be that the market is going sideways uh, the market going sideways is usually a sign of uh, indecision making. People are afraid, people are scared, or people are frustrated, yet they remain extremely biased. And that is why a lot of money is literally being thrown into the market um, based off of pure speculation. And that is literally what has happened yesterday. This has what been uh, happening the, the, the day before. This is what has been happening the week before that. And uh, in a more extreme form than, for example, when the market does have a clear direction. Uh, when the market is trending, then it's really clear to see that the market is going up. So naturally people trade into that direction. Um, and uh, right now that is simply just not the case. So when, when it comes to, um, to, to answering the question, for example, or why are you losing in a sideways market is literally, I would say, because of, because of emotions, uh, because of bias, and simply because you're not educated well enough. 
in order to read the correct context in the market. Um, two things you can do about it. Obviously, the first thing is to simply wait for more clarity in the market uh, if, if the price breaks out of the range and then, for example, successfully backtest it. Then, it's, then, then a trending market becomes a higher probability and you can actually make trading decisions based off of that. And the second thing, of course, is uh, I'm going to say obvi the, the obvious thing is uh, get yourself educated, invest in yourself, uh, follow a trading course or uh, uh, learn about how to read the markets um, so that that when when the next trend occurs, because it will come. This is an ongoing market. It is, this is this is not the end. Uh, you know, the best trade that you might make or the best uh, market reading that you will do is still ahead of you and it is always ahead of you as you improve your skills as you improve your knowledge you become better and better each and every day and at some point you are going to have the skills um, to read things correctly and to make more informed decisions uh, on the condition that you do invest time and effort into learning these things to your, uh, for, you know to learning these things so um yeah, that is basically what I wanted to make a video about today. I guess I went a little bit on, on some kind of a, of, of a rant. Nonetheless, I hope this was a very helpful and insightful video for you. I hope you learned something new. Uh, if you like this, you know, uh, please give us a like and subscribe. Follow us on social media and uh, stay up to date with what we're doing. Um, thank you for watching and have a great day and see you in the next video. Cheers. Bye-bye.